This is the CDL General Knowledge Exam Questions and Answers Practice, Study, and Prep. Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. What is your best driving speed? That would be 35 miles per hour. Basically, you're going with the flow of traffic. At night, where can you look to avoid the glare from oncoming traffic headlights? Try to look at the right side of the road and watch the sidelines. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry level road about the length of a football field or about six seconds you wish to turn right and you must swing wide you should you should turn wide as you complete the turn What can rust around, around the wheel nuts mean? It can mean that the wheel nuts may be loose. Why should you never assume you will clear the heights posted at overpasses? Because some roads can cause your vehicle to tilt. At night, if your vehicle, pardon me, at night, if the vehicle coming towards you has its high beams on, basically what should you do? You should keep your low beams on and look off to the right. You don't want to do a, a tat for tat type of situation. You want to um, not escalate. Uh, the person who has their high beams on may not know it. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the tachometer or speedometer. When turned on, brake retarders apply their power whenever you let up all of the way on the accelerator pedal. In making a quick turn, what is a salient point to remember? Don't apply the brakes as you're turning. How do you lessen the chances of having to make sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so that hazards can be anticipated. When do roads usually become more slippery? Roads usually become more slippery when ice begins to melt. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, what should you do before stopping? Flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. What is a problem that you can have when using your mirrors? There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. What is the minimum amount of tread depth that your tires should have? Front wheels, 4 seconds inch tread depth. Rear wheels, 2 seconds inch tread depth a vehicle inspection should be performed before each trip when driving downhill in a vehicle with an automatic transmission you should select a low range for greater engine braking 
Why do empty trucks usually require a greater stopping distance than loaded trucks? Empty trucks can bounce and lock up their wheels. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting, which means the RPMs at which you shift become higher as you move up in the gears. What is the only way to terminate a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What is the major factor to consider about the load's center of gravity. A high center of gravity means that there is a higher probability of a tip over. Are you required to present your logbook to an officer when you're instructed to do so? Yes, you are. Before putting tire chains on your vehicle, you should check to be sure that the tire chains have no broken hooks, or crosslinks, or bent or broken side chains. If you've experienced a tire blowout, in what way should you attempt to stop your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed enough to safely apply the brakes without causing your vehicle to skid. What is black ice? Black ice is a thin layer of clear ice on the road. Typically, you can see the road surface beneath the ice. How many tie downs should you have? What is the minimum requirement? Two. When the road is wet or covered with snow, would it be prudent to turn off your brake retarders? Yes. With the above road conditions, deploying your brake retarders could cause your vehicle to skid. Slight melting makes ice wet. What surface is most slippery? Wet ice. At dusk or dawn, or when it's raining or snowing, this would be when your visibility is low. However, you could increase your visibility to other drivers by you turning on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off. If your cargo contains hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. What should you do if your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. What should you do to keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up? You should partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. Why should you know what traffic is doing on all sides of your vehicle? You need to have room to change, to change lanes or stop. What is controlled braking? Controlled braking is applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking your wheels. What should you assume when you are about to pass a motor vehicle, a pedestrian, or a cyclist? You should assume that they haven't seen you. 
Convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors, but they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. What are three factors of total stopping distance with hydraulic brakes? Perception, reaction, and braking distance. When backing a trailer, you can make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull-ups. How far ahead should you look while driving? You should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. You're making a left turn at an intersection. There are two left turning lanes at this intersection. Which of the two lanes should you use? Use the lane on the right. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on your steering axle? It becomes more difficult to steer. When executing a turn, why should you look in your rear view mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer doesn't hit anything. As a commercial driver, with respect to your cargo, what are you responsible for? You're responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it's securely tied down and or covered. When your speed is doubled, how many times more distance does it take to stop your vehicle? Four times. What are two factors to consider regarding when to shift? Engine speed and road speed. Empty buses usually do not require more stopping distance than loaded because they have the same braking power when empty as when loaded. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two lane road? At the front, 100 feet. And at the rear, 10 and 100 feet. When should you use your high beams? Whenever you can, providing it's legal to do so. What is the proper way to place your hands on the steering wheel? Firmly, hands on opposite sides of the steering wheel. If you have to set out warning reflective triangles on the highway by your vehicle, when you go to put them in place, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. What are some things to do when you are backing your vehicle? Look at your path, back slowly, and back straight back. What are some defects to look for in the suspension system? Spring hangers that are cracked or broken. When should you downshift for a curve? Downshift before entering the curve. Besides looking for vehicles coming in your lane, looking for traffic means watching for brake lights of slowing vehicles ahead. Question. Speed limits that are posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. How do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak when the vehicle is stopped? Pump brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure and hold for five seconds. When merging with traffic, you should use your mirrors to make sure 
The gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter. What are some steering system defects to look for? Missing nuts or bolts or cotter keys or other parts. The amount of space you need to enter traffic is affected by the weight of your load. If you're feeling drowsy before driving, what should you do? Get some sleep. To make a turn with a large vehicle, you may have to go slower than many non-commercial drivers would expect you to drive. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the system is cool. Which is a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? Your vehicle may be boxed in alongside or between those vehicles when the time comes for you to change lanes. When backing a trailer, you should turn the steering wheel opposite the direction you want to go. What is the major cause of most serious skids? Driving too fast for road conditions. Antifreeze is effective under hot conditions as well as cold conditions. In order to, pardon me, in order to prevent cargo shifting, what should the maximum distance between tie downs be? It should be every 10 feet. What should you do when using a fire extinguisher to fight a fire? Aim at the base of the fire. When inspecting tires, what are some problems to look for? Bad wear cuts or other damage, tread separation, cracked valve stems. How do you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears? By using the sound of the engine to know when to shift, you know you have the right, you have the, the engine speed and road speed to shift gears. If you are using a helper to assist you while you are backing, your helper should earlier agree with you on the hand signal for stop and he should stand where you can see him at all times. Question. Wheels or rims that have been repaired by welding are unsafe. What are some items to check for, especially before driving in winter weather conditions? Check the antifreeze coolant level and the windshield washer de-icer liquid level. Besides watching the traffic behind you, you can use your rear view mirrors to watch for possible tire fires. What is a good policy for using your brakes when pulling off the road? To avoid using your brakes until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Should you always be looking into the distance ahead? No, you should shift your attention back and forth, near and far. What is true about down shifting before you reach a long downhill grade? Down shifting helps prevent the brakes from overheating and losing braking power. Whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you should back and turn towards the driver's side. How often should you check your tires when driving in very hot weather? Check them every two hours or every 100 miles. 
Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brakes, your brake lights to alert drivers behind you of hazards that you see ahead. What is the purpose of brake retarders? Brake retarders help slow down your vehicle and reduce brake wear. What is a good rule with regard to your vehicle speed while driving at night? You should be able to stop your vehicle within the range of your headlights. What are some things to do if you're being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed and direction. To be sure that you know what is happening on the highway ahead of you, don't focus too long on your rear view mirrors. Exhaust system parts should not rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about five miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. A good rule for using turn signals is if you don't have self-canceling signals, remember to turn off the turn signal after completing a turn or lane change. When traction is poor, as in rain or snow, how should you speed up? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? All to the rear. 10, 100, and 200 feet. Place them all to the rear within 10, 100, and 200 feet. How often should cargo inspections be conducted? After every break during driving. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of your vehicle? At least one second every 10 feet of your vehicle's length plus one additional second. What is a vehicle condition report? It's a list of problems that you find. Two good rules for using turn signals are signal early and signal continuously. Before starting down a hill, you want to be sure that you are in the proper gear. You downshift before you start down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it is safe for them to pass? Never. Never signal to let others know when it is safe to pass. <laughs>